our motto for the day, buddy. Too easy in a Land Rover. wasn't hanging on to the uh, terminal. Well, the terminal was alright, but it was just this. Was, um, oh, was that, was, uh, that was touching the actual uh, lead. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, everything else is alright? Otherwise, yeah, aside from lack of, uh, lack of experience driving. That's so alright. That's okay. Had a few minor little issues before, but they're all sorted out now. We're heading up further up here. You, he can, he's probably just explaining. So there's a couple of little red trucks if people want to have a play there. That, okay. the fire tower. And then from there, we're going to try and head out and go stop for a quick bite to eat at okay. the lookout, which is here. What for? Needs a script. I don't want to catch fire. Unless I've got a rock in the side wall or something on the inside. Yeah, a little bit flat there. Here we've got a compressor. Yeah, I do. Want to just chuck the compressor on for a bit, man? So anybody else game? For this one? Yeah. Even 
see the wheel slip. That's good, Tyson. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, good action. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Yeah, you got to you got to go back, straight back. Which side are you going? You're not. You've got no chance of getting up there. You're dreaming. Fix up the wheel now. Yeah. Oh, oh, dude, dude, dude. Hold on. Hook on the brake. Look for my other videos in the green deal one. Oh, that one will be. That's great. I think we'd better get a socket and pull that bottom of that shocky off, mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll get one of them. Oh, mate. Oh, that's, yeah. That's not mounted correctly. And they're all new mates. Why are they old mates? So it's what they call Patrick. Well, but, hey, Pat, as you probably know, if you find all the planes on its old Joe, it helps with the flex. Unfortunately, the yeah. coil is actually yeah. dislocating. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if anyone's got a MIG welder, an angle driver, a bit of stock, we'll make some uh, dislocation cones. It's a look in there. Yeah, she broke. She not broke. She stopped. The uh, the eBay uh, the eBay suspension is not so much. And <laughs> It's just out of the way nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't have to worry about that. Is that the theory? A bit more down trouble. I do, I've got the, the duplication set up. Drop down long enough. Get that enough traction. <laughs> auto disconnects. Yeah, auto so good. Then the old shaft, then this one. Still so good. Got that shocky online if you want. Can I? 
reusable. What, 90 degree shock absorber? Yeah. Yeah. No, I've got, yeah. I got, yeah. got some grip there. Let's get a soaker. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, it's, it's, it, yeah, I've, I've, had, I've had the extra three inches since we got to the play area to start with, you know. What's it? It's, it's actually snapped it off. Yeah, yeah. Up the yeah it's absolutely it's snapped it off, shoot it off. Send him an email. Oh, here we go. Send, oh, you the part, oh shit, don't lose the washers, mate. <laughs> you need those. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, it's dirt in the nut. I'm never going to get this back together. <laughs> What is it? What's the actual tree. brand of it? It is a... Mm, 150 bucks. <laughs> it is a Maxi Track Nitro. Oh. Copy that, Captain Starlight. I've just arrived at King Ludwig's German Bavarian restaurant and this is one of the best German restaurants you'll ever find in Queensland. We have amazing views over the Glasshouse Mountains so if you want to get a good view this is the place to come to. They do a fantastic spread of Bavarian food. this uh, apple strudel so I'll see how I go. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Absolutely good. Apple strudel is one of those things you got to have when you come to King Ludwig's at the Maloney. So it's been a great journey, 24 years up here, but all together we had uh, 30 years King Ludwig. So wow. we started in Brisbane first. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been a good journey. Fantastic. Yeah. I've never had a pretzel before, which was um, in that sort of texture. So yeah. I've always had pretzels that have been sort of in a... The little crunchy ones. Yeah, crunchy, <laughs> yeah, crunchy pretzels. And I, I don't think they're the real, no. the no. real pretzels. But, but uh, what yeah. made They're like, the, the, the little dry ones, they're like yeah. when you eat chips, exactly, <laughs> when yeah. you watch TV. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Those pretzels make a special because of the cheese dip that Klaus makes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I think that it really yeah, yeah. adds oh, wow. to the to yeah, the. We pretty much make everything here. We bake the cakes and stuff. Oh, we do oh, the German cuisine. There's not many German restaurants. Don't worry about the press. Come straight oh, through. Come, straight through. <laughs> come straight through and see the pie. <laughs> now I feel bad. I should have oh, made sure. No. <laughs> 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 there we go, boys. Come 
And any of you driving a Land Rover? <laughs> any of you, one of you driving a Land Rover? No, no we didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> you would like to. 88. 88. And, uh, eight, early 89, so that's yeah. in our 30th year now. Yeah. So we, start, right. we were in a little shopping center yeah. in Brisbane, started King Ludwig's restaurant for seven years. Tried to find a place that suits us more where we come from, yeah. the hills. That's as high as we can get in Queensland here, in this area. Oh yeah. 450, 500 meters up here. We named our restaurant, of course, of, after King Ludwig, who uh, built all those famous castles, what they used in a lot of movies. He also was one of the starters of the Oktoberfest. Oh, okay. That also has a bit of heritage of him. Yeah. It was a good talking point straight away, yeah. King Ludwig. So a lot of people obviously go over there now, more than ever, and see where he comes from and where he lived. When we talk about, say, Bavarian food, um, how does that sort of differ to is that still the same as German food or is it No, it's different. I guess it, it comes back with a lot of history. Yeah. So we in Bavaria have similar food to even the Czech, the Austrians, you know, with the cabbages, the pickled things, you know, and the roasts and, and bread dumplings, spätzle, all those things, the apple strudel, that's Germany, Austria, that comes from that border. It's very different to the north of Germany where they, on the sea in the north, they have a lot of fish dishes and stuff. They have a lot of influence already from Scandinavia or other places, where the old days where people didn't travel. So the food in southern Germany, even into northern Italy, is very similar. Oh, wow. You know, very hearty okay. food. Well, sausages, of course, I mean, the, that part of uh, Germany is full. I mean, the, the bread, the bakeries and the, the, and the butcher shops, uh, it's a uh, Lovely place to go to in the morning and you know, smell of smoked. <laughs> yeah, definitely. The yeah. smoked goods they're producing. Be you know, there's yeah. nothing. Continental small goods. Yeah. When we do change our menu regularly, you know, every three or four months we change it and then it depends on the season. Like at this time of the year, I always have also venison on. I didn't have it today, but it's a special I always put on towards the weekends. We have venison ragu and, and other things, you know, beef olives and cabbage rolls and things that are always usually special we put on to, through the winter time. Mm. Wow. After all these years in, in business, you can sell the same thing in summer. The Australians love it at 30, 35 degrees. They still eat my soup and they, they love to. And there's not many restaurants around because German cuisine is very time consuming in prep work. Oh, okay. it's, it's, a, it's one of those cuisines. Uh, it's, uh, it's takes a lot of work and effort. A lot of love yeah. goes into it, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess that's what in any business you have to. But it's just from the prep time itself. You know, by marinating things for a week or two. You know, uh, meat, doesn't matter if you make a sour braten or, you know, stews. Yeah. We marinate things and cabbages anyway, sauerkraut. We do ourselves. And, and Klaus has actually had a Land Rover in the past, and do you want to tell us about the first Land Rover you had? Oh, it, it was in 27 years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. We had an old Land Rover for about two and a half years, three years, to go to Morton and, and Sweaty because a friend of mine had one too. So he said, that's a good car. So I don't, I'm not very mechanical at all, but it was a good car. Just got very hot inside in summer and on the feet. With, with, you know, the, the, I think it was the gearbox or something. It always produced a lot of heat, so he only had the two flaps to open. <laughs> okay, so exactly. you know, and, and then we bought an upgrade to a Range Rover, that was a good car. And then we made a mistake and bought the first new Discovery, the V8. Oh, really? It was our first car. Because that was like over 20 years ago, we paid $50,000. It's a lot of money then. It was our first car, we wanted to buy a new one. Yeah. And, but I was never happy with it. And so the Range Rover that you actually had, that was a good what year was that? that a classic? We bought it in 95, but that was already then 20 years old. Oh, okay. So it wasn't old. you. Okay, no, so no, 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 I couldn't afford you one. <laughs> <laughs> so it would have been the classic there. That was a good car. Yeah. That was a nice car. So, you know, we've got a Land Rover person here uh, who's quite had Land Rovers, but yeah, it's really good Land Rover, so it's a really good effort. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so very impressive. It was good, for, especially on the islands, it was amazing. Yeah. 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 Bought and ready, we've done all the Afraza, all the islands while we had that car, it was beautiful. Great, fantastic. Yeah, good trips. Oh, so good. Yeah. Okay, so it's happy. Prost. Uh, cheers. Prost. Uh, you say cheers, we say prost. 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 There we go. Prost. <laughs> cheers. Yes. So, I just had a lovely lunch here today at King Ludwig's Bavarian restaurant. And the, the, I had some sausages today which were in the, um, in the most amazing uh, gravy. What was those sausages called, Klaus? That's the Kreiner, the Casey Kreiner, okay. the sauerkraut and the gravy. Of course, we make ourselves from real stock. We use bones, pork and veal bones and vegetables and tomatoes and we roast them and we make a gravy out of it. So that's, Beautiful. and then there's caraway seeds and dark beer in there. It's, Nice. Oh, People lovely. love it. Beautiful. I have even vegetarians come here and they eat the gravy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
Now, the, um, the, the pretzel that I had, that was um, my homemade, was it? I have, I'm honest with you, no. Uh, so that, <laughs> no, I have sorry, a German baker. I have a German baker, he makes them for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kuroi Bakery, he's a German fellow. Okay. He makes them for me. I can't cope up, I need hundreds of them a week sometimes. And it's just another uh, job you can't do if you start in the morning. That's fair enough, yeah. I understand. And we had um, a beautiful uh, apple strudel as well, so that was obviously homemade. That's, that's all. Yeah. The only thing I don't make anymore, I used to bake and make the bread and pretzels myself. Okay. But that's one thing I gave up many years ago because it's just too many things. Beautiful. Yeah. And we had some beautiful um, roast potatoes as well that were, were lovely. Absolutely yeah. full yeah. of flavour and uh, yes. well presented. Yeah, roasted with yeah. um, caraway seeds and, yeah. and onions. Yeah. And that beer that I had today, uh, that was... The Meisel? Yeah, that was incredible too. Yeah. So, pale ale. so the pale ale yeah. in the... Uh, it's called... Ma Meisel. Meisel, yeah. That's one beer that's worth trying um, when you, if you come here to have, have some lunch. this one, right? dinner. Meisel friends. Yeah. There you go. That's the one so that's my today. favorite beer. What do you have today? How many do you have? I have one. Yeah. yeah so. How can you sell it? You've got to stay another two days and yeah. I give you all the beers to try. Yeah. Then you can say. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, but whatever yeah. you prefer, there's, a, yeah, there's yeah. some amazing beers in there. And some of them are smoked beers, smoke flavor from an area like Bamberg. Okay. They have a really smoky flavor. And it's like, for me, like Vegemite, I can't eat it. <laughs> so yeah, wonderful, but, wonderful experience and great hospitality and the views here are just incredible so um, come on down to La King Lovewigs at Mulaney and you'll have a, a fantastic time. Thanks, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was yeah, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.